If you are looking to learn NX Open APIs and you are doing it yourself, then you must have tried this method. The method is learning NX Open APIs through journal recording. Journal recording is a very easy but yet good option to learn NX Open APIs because when you record journals then the script for that actions that you record are automatically created so in this video we are going to see how you can effectively use journal recording for your learning show you how you record a journal once you are into your annex screen you can point out uh, you can locate the developer tab if this developer tab is not uh, seen in your case you can right click on this gray ribbon and just enable this developer tab once you enable it you can see a developer tab and within that you will see the menu options the features for journal and here you will see a record option this records an interactive session into a journal file this is how you record the steps uh, in a journal file and as i said you get the code created out of your steps while you record a journal so let's create let's record a journal first what I will do is I will click on this button and this will ask me uh, to save the the to provide the file location for saving the, the journal. But before that, it gives me some it gives me some pop up message. This pop up message says that some NX commands are not recorded. Therefore, replay may not produce same result as an interactive NX session. Replay of journals recorded in VB, C Sharp are supported only for Windows. Replay of journals recorded in Python are supported in both Windows and Linux. To execute journals recorded in other languages or on Linux, first create executable and then use the file execute NX open command. Refer to online help documentation for further information. This is self-sufficient, self-explanatory, I would say. I will click OK and it will ask me for the journal uh, file location for saving it. So I will keep it as journal 1, the name of this journal. It will be a C sharp file because I am recording a journal in C sharp. I will click on OK button. Now you could see that I have already entered into the recording mode. Now before I go and record anything, let me show you something very interesting. Here, if I click on menu and if I click on insert and let's say if I open up this datum point related features, you could see I see a green dot on each of the features. What this green dot indicates? This green dot indicates that these are the features these are the action steps that can be recorded in a journal. If we see anything where there is no green dot, it means that that particular action is uh, that particular action cannot be recorded in a journal. Let's find if I let's see if I found anything of such sort here. Yeah, you could see that this simplify. This creates a string of best fit lines and arcs from the chain of curves. This particular feature cannot be recorded. It means that even if you use this feature, you are not going to get the code, the script for this feature into your journal. Otherwise, all other features where you can see that green dot, all action steps can be recorded in a journal file. This even applies to the features listed in a in the ribbon like this if i get into curves let's say i see this green dot this is a 
square this is the square dot uh, in this case but it gives the same indication it means that we can record these steps and it will be captured in a script so let's see how we can record the action steps now first of all i can go and create a line let me create a line to get it recorded into a journal line menu line options are open this dialog has opened i will create a inferred line this will be a start point this will be a end point i will apply okay uh, apply and then i will cancel this dialog now i'll create a arc i'll create the arc with same points this will be my starting point this will be my end point and this will be the radius that i'm going to use so i'll click on ok button now here as well i have recorded two steps now i would see uh, i will try to rotate this a bit i would like to see how my models look, looks like i will zoom it a bit uh, maybe i will i will select this body i will select this line i will select this particular body i will try to select the coordinate system and all of that so i am just playing around with my model so all of these steps are also going to be recorded now let's pause uh, let's stop this journal recording and see what all has been recorded into a journal i will stop the recording after i finish with the recording i can go and click on edit button and with this i can see the recorded journal this is a recorded journal and this is nothing but a very long script in a way because there are a lot of steps that we have recorded now understanding these recorded steps knowing what exactly is written here what exactly that is doing is all you can understand but definitely you need to have some basic understanding of the programming as well as nx open apis to know it better so what we will do we will continue uh, on this video series this learning video series and i am going to take you through the different advantages of recording a journal for your learning but for now we will take a pause here so i will see you in the next video where i am going to tell you more about journal recording as the best learning tool here i am introducing a course called c sharp essentials for nx open customization and programming enroll now and unlock the power of customization in nx don't miss out